better. Um, what we have to use for it? Well, we can use pencil crayons for sure, um, but I would like to work with some watercolors, okay? So if it will be necessary, we will add some um, pencil crayons or, or colored crayons, but let us start first with watercolors. Okay, so what we need, of course, we need a feather or at least an image of it. We need, guys, uh, paper that is uh, medium heavy paper the best would be of course watercolor paper and we do need a uh, well a razor pencil um i would also suggest that you have a marker and then of course water here container with the water my favorite paper piece of paper towel because you have to clean up the access or take access of the water from your uh, brush and in case when you need to, you will have a, a number of pencil crayons. But let us start first analyzing this feather. So when I look at this feather, I see lots of different beautiful colors. I see kind of coppery color here. I see this beautiful rounded shape, not rounded, a little bit rounded shape or oval shape. And I see that consists of many, many different over other oval shape um, uh, colors. Now, but the whole feather is very, very elongated. It, ca it comes from the tail of the peacock, male peacock, I have to say, because male peacock has to be very attractive um, for the female peacock. So now, this particular feather has, and not just this one, all the feathers have a very elongated quilt or shaft, and then those separate feathers attached to it with the tip, giving us this beautiful design. So, because we don't have such a, like you see, look at our um, paper, it's not very elongated, and I think you want to just concentrate on this part here. So, just the tip here, right? So, I'm placing the feather on the side uh, to use it as my reference, and we will start right away working on it. Okay, so my feather is here as my reference. You will not see it from time to time only. I will show it to you. And here I'm moving. Now, the first step, of course, is to use the pencil to create the feather. So for me, for me, it's super important to look here at this part here. And I want to really present it right here. So in my drawing, I definitely have to have a shaft here. And I will make it very light. You remember, when you draw, very, very lightly. And my my um, the most part is here, is this part here, right? This is this oval, more or less oval shape in which I want to bring those beautiful colors here. Okay, so here we are, guys. And then from there, you see, I can see my feather. It's coming here like this, you see? They go almost like around here like you see around, 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 and then it's a little bit thicker, greater density is still here, right? Notice around this kind of oval shape for the eye, for the eye of the feather, right? And from there they go separate. So I have to make sure that I make the, the stem, I call it stem, is the shaft or quill of my um, feather peacock feather a little bit thicker here you see so I'm doing it a little bit thicker here this is the here's the end of the shaft right or the quill so here will be just the separate beautiful single feathers they are going here and then those very organically moving separate separate single feathers right here another one here and you know what i let them cross the page why not actually that will look really i like it i like this idea very much you see letting them cross the paper so that it will look more interesting i think so okay you can always add more if you want to now when i go back to the center i can see a number number of um parts so the one part that is important for me is this perfect the center let's see first we go around here with another maybe two lines even here because so I will need to introduce some other colors and one, two, maybe another one here, just, just a little bit. And then I have the center, the really pure, pure, like when you look at the eye, when this would be my eyeball, right? This would be my iris here. That I would call my iris and pupil will be this part here, perfectly in the center, right? So it's coming here. This shapes, it's always repeated. So we want to bring it here, right? A little bit 
heavier on the bottom. And guys, later on we can bring some lines through. Good, so that's what we have. We don't want to have too many lines. If you notice that the lines are a little bit too heavy, just go with the um, eraser and take off what you think you should. Remember, we can also repeat the same operation after the watercolors are applied, right? So here we are. And now, with, the, with my piece of paper towel and the brushes, I will start emulate the colors here, the way they, they are in the peacock feather, right? So remember, I have watercolors. I don't have too many of them, uh, too many colors. So I have to really... Um, just go with the flow and again when I can't find like for example the copper color that's okay I will use brown color here so now it's time for me to paint and I will go with the shaft the shaft is white but I can bring a little bit like you see a little bit of this color here so I'm using a little bit maybe orangey brown here right and I'm going notice here what's happening up to here this part here I'm going here with the line good so you see this is already done here I can also if you want to you can simply believe me or not use the marker and I will show you in the second okay what you can do with it so this will be my shaft or quill or I like to call it stem now from there I want to have yellow so again I have to clean up my uh, brush because I don't want it to get dirty and mixed with some other colors. So now from there, what I see here, notice this color comes from yellow. It looks similar. So I can even go here with a little bit of yellow inside here and there. Okay, so what I will be doing now here, I'm going here with yellow, but I'm not touching the center or the iris, how I say it, right? Of my, of my feather. That's such a beautiful feather. Remember, we will have a purple here, so I don't want to contaminate it with the, the color to go there with the um, yellow, because yellow is a complementary color. And when those two colors get mixed up together, what is happening, we will get neutral color. We will get the color that's not bright, right? So I want to have a bright purple here. Okay, so I'm going a couple of um, times on the top of the lines that I created right here, you see? Still a little bit more. I'm leaving the space here ready for my beautiful, beautiful here. You see, for my beautiful purple color here. And that's what I have here. Now, from there, guys, will be the next step. And I'm cleaning up my brush. I'm really very watchful that the brush is clean. There's no yellow on it. And now I'm moving to my purple color, which I have here. And I move it here just that you can see better. Now, with the purple, I can go to this section here. Okay, now the small brush really helps me because it's easier for me to create those lines. You see, notice that the line, I'm not creating just line as such. This line, this line consists of many choo -choo 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 lines, place one next to another, right? You see, and I can leave some white here. That's okay. That, that will not bother anyone. Now here, I want to round it a little bit more. And then I'm looking here and I think I have to go with another line here. Notice the line which I create. You can go with one line like this, but I like to move it like this because that reminds me of those separate feathers that will come later here, you see? Okay, so we go here and then we'll be going there and then we're going more here, you see? So, oh wow, it's coming, guys, it's coming. You see a little bit more here. Oh, I'm getting those beautiful colors here. Okay, maybe even heavier. Why not? That's my beautiful painting. Okay, I'm getting the colors here. Let me clean up my purple color still a little bit more. Okay, so I'm coming here. Good. Now, I also see a little bit of this purple in the center here. This bluish purplish color. So I will apply it right away, right here. You see, a little bit heavier. That will be the pupil, I call it, right, of the eye. So here we are, and I let it dry just a little bit, okay? Now, from there, I want to create some already, use the time, and I'm going very fluidly, you see, with my purple color here. So to create those separate, beautiful, beautiful feathers, the single ones. 
After that, like you see here, I have it a little bit more. And remember, I still have to bring this coppery color, but I'm waiting for it. I will certainly do it, but not yet, right? So you see like this, like this, like this, around, beautifully around. I'm waiting until this paint will dry a little bit so I can apply another color. Okay, so I'm going here. Like you see, I really like this contrast here. Then I'm going here. Hoo, hoo, hoo. You see, lots of fun. My brush goes, like, I'm not pressing it very much. I don't want to press it, right? Because when I press it, then I get those very stiff lines. That's not what I want to have, okay? Okay, you see here. And then I'm going here. See, a little bit more, like this. Oh, wow. And another line here. And another one will come here. And another will come here. Sorry, sorry, my beautiful, my beautiful feather. I have to move you a little bit on this side. You see, I'm going with another layer of the purple here because I like the contrast. So I don't want to have just one even purplish color. I want to have variation here. Now, um, let's see. I'm taking my paint here on this side and I'm moving to the feathers on this side here. Okay, so it's more. Ha, 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 you see? And another one here. Those lines are already heavier, as you can see. Okay, so I'm going with heavy lines because they are those really big, elongated, um, single feathers, right? So you see, one can come here and another can certainly come here. The same will be on this side here. And I think I want to get another one here and maybe another one there. Good. So now from there, guys, oh, la, la. Another one here, another one here. You see, I always like to work with this, maybe a little bit more of the purple here. Now we will look for some other colors. And we will look for the colors inside here. And I see nice blue here. So with this blue, okay, I want to take a little bit of it here that you can speed up, okay, the process. And if you want to, we can use some of the colors that we have in our pencil crayons, okay? So I think that we want to come here when I look at this, this is nice green and some blue, a nice blue here going around. So I'm putting this color here. See, with my pencil crayon. So why not? Okay, like this. That will go around. And a little bit more of it here. Like you see, and apply also a purplish color. In the second, I will apply purple, uh, not purple, sorry, 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 green color. Okay, so this color can cross it nicely here like this. And then I will apply the green. And the green that I will do, let me see, I have to pick it up. And the color is coming here. I actually will also pick up some of the pinkish color here. And why not? Okay, so look at this particular um, eye. And I'm applying the green color now here. Okay, I'm going with the green. You see here, and that will look so good. See, I have already green color, so I have a combination of colors here. Good. So the green is there, and then I want to bring a little bit of this green outside into the feathers. You see those single feathers here. And then I bring some other colors as well. Okay, so that's what we have here. I also need to see a little bit of the green here. So now I can improvise and do the way I think everything will look beautiful. So I want to see a little bit of this color here, a little bit of the pink into it. I place, you see here, into the yellow to create a nicer contrast. And why I use this pinkish color? Because I have this nice green here too. And this green helps me to make the pink a little bit brighter. So you see? Now with the feathers, I want to introduce a little bit of my pink color here. You see, especially to the ends. I want to bring a little bit more of the pink to the ends, right? Then I can, in some places of the single feathers, I can bring this color. Notice I'm not so super precise. I don't want to be precise because that will ruin the effect of this very organically shaped, um, feathers single feathers so you see we need more of those colors here and there okay good so now the next step will be um that which color i should apply oh now i have to go with the brown color 
So what I want, what I want to do, having this limited color palette, I will use a little bit of orange and a little bit of brown, right? Those two colors, and I will go there when I see the other color. Okay, so definitely here. For this, I will use a little bit of this nice brown here for those separate, separate um, nice feathers. So we have a big feather as one, and then I talk about separate feathers, those units. Okay, so you see, we go here. Wow, it becomes really rich. Okay, we go here, definitely here, definitely here. You see, I also will apply a little bit of red into it. Why not to make it even brighter? So you see, here, I'm going definitely here around a little bit stronger. Okay, then what I need to have, let's see, a little bit more brown here in some of those places. See how fluid my lines are? Okay, and a little bit more of it here. See like this, tiny bit more here, tiny bit more here, like this. This year I start getting darker colors, and maybe a little bit of red. What do you think? Should we get some red? Maybe. I think so. So I'm getting my nice um, raspberry color now here. You see, and I will apply it here because the colors at the end. I'm the magician. I want to make a beautiful feather. So I also think that we can introduce a little bit of it here around, like you see the watercolor, like this, and then let's see, still a little bit more of it here. Remember there's one color still missing here, and the color is called green. Yeah, like you see here, we'll apply it more. Wow. Now, I'm, let, let me still go a little bit to the purplish color here. So I'm going here with the purple, just to make this better connection, like this. Now I'm ready, I'm ready to apply green. So I have two greens on my palette here, and I use this one here, because I think this will be a little bit stronger. So I'm going with it here, you see, it gives me quite nice effect. I also will bring it here, just a touch, okay? And I will definitely use it here. A little bit more here, like this, you see, and then I'm going on some of those leaves, uh, uh, leaves, what I'm talking about, oh, of course on the feathers, yeah, you see a little bit more here, now I'm separating, like it's almost like one is going in another direction, it's completely new, here, and there will be another one here, and maybe more here, See, so what we work, we work with beautiful colors and we also work with nice composition, right? To fill the space and, and make it looking interesting to us, right? But the colors are so important. How we manage to place the colors so that the image will look beautiful. I now want to use a little bit of the uh, orange color here to bring this copper quality. I don't have copper as a color, so that's why I have to help myself with using orange orange and maybe a little bit of brown as well right but i'm definitely applying this color here you see you see how it brightens it very much right like you see here and then we are almost done with our painting you see just a little bit couple of more lines and we will be done guys and i'm really excited to look at this this beautiful feather okay and now i will use tiny bit of black or maybe even mix with purple you see i have it here the mixture and i will recreate back i'm going back to my uh, i call it stem but it's really quill right or sharp you see here we are so it's stronger and then a little bit more emphasize this part here and i bring black only in couple like you see couple of stronger lines here to make it even more 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 and more interesting okay guys so we have our beautiful feather completed i hope that you enjoyed the process and that now you are ready to work on your own and have a good time guys to the next time bye